that's basically the, the intention of the exercise, is to teach you to feel that energy and then get out of its way and count it straight away. I'm Antonio Graceffo, it's Martial Arts Odyssey. Today I am in PJ, that's Selangor, that's in Malaysia, and we're learning about Wing Chun with the Shifu. Now Shifu, can you please tell the people your name? Uh, I'm David Peterson, uh, originally from Melbourne, Australia, but now living in Malaysia and teaching Wong Sen Leung Wing Chun in Malaysia. And where do you learn? Uh, in Hong Kong with Wong Sen Leung. I travel backwards and forwards uh, over a 15 year period to train with my teacher. And you lived in Hong Kong for a number uh, of years? Or? Not for a number of years, in and for, out. for a month or two months at a time. Okay. And I also brought my teacher to Australia on five different occasions to make sure that we got our training rounded off. If you're coming around on the blind side, then I would try to jam it to cover it. If you're coming around on the covered side, then there's no I'll wear that one after the But the best way to deal with the kick is the moment the flight starts out, so get yourself. Right, right. So I won't stand back here and let you kick. That would be quite high flight. Something's trying to get in here. If you roll that hand forward, just don't turn the whole way. It's still maintaining your awareness. You've now controlled my attack, created space so that you can now manipulate and attack. Right. Okay. You've now controlled my attack, created space so that you can now manipulate and attack. We're learning Wing Chun, and I mean it's a much more scientific, different type of approach. And of course, it was Bruce Lee's original style. That's why I've always wanted to study it. So it's very different every time I walk in. Different than Kyokushin, different than Muay Thai. Everything's different. And once again, I'm a beginner, and I don't know how to do anything. If you were to try to push my arm away, all that to do would be give me both my hands because you can't reach the battle. Right, 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 right. So what we're doing in Wing Chun is always, if there's anything that's too strong, release it and attack straight away. We're not trying to block things, we just redirect so that we can take it. Right, right. So if I find your pressure there is too strong on my arm, I just mm -hmm. go. My concern is not to fight that, right. but to, if that's too strong, let it go. So how does that work out? So we got a uh, white guy from Australia who trained in Hong Kong and now he's in Malaysia teaching to a largely Chinese uh, class. Uh, well, the other side of my, uh, my uh, technique is that I was a Chinese language teacher for about 31 years. I speak Mandarin and I speak Cantonese and so uh, I feel very comfortable in an Asian environment. And life has just taken a few interesting turns and I find myself living in Malaysia. Uh, if you're trying to drive in so while that hand can't get in, I've created space for my hand. Right. This is more a technique that we use in an emergency because my ideal way is if you're trying to hit me, is to hit you. But it might be that I'm trying to hit you and you put up that resistance, so I can't hit with that hand anymore. Now I'm going to freak my hand. So far, what, I, what I'm understanding from the Shifu is that when the energy is coming at us, like number one, we don't want to block, we don't want to try and stop the energy, we, we redirect it. We redirect it. Sometimes we move with it, yep. right, to let it just sort of spend itself out. Yep. And the other thing is that the center line is the target. The center line is the target and the center line, I want my energy moving in the center line. Yeah. You want to take the center of mass of whatever I am. So it's not so much there's a target on my chest and you have to hit the target. My center of mass is always the best target to hit. It's a bit like firearms training. And when I'm hitting, though, as you said also, I need to hit from, from my center, basically. From your center. From, from my center. Round up. So, in some of these techniques, if he's pushing at me, if he's pushing at me, I want to step back in such a fashion that his energy goes away, but I'm able to get right here. So, how did that push start again? I'm trying to get through on this position. Okay, he's trying to get through, and he's almost through, so I step back. Let his energy out, and now I'm wide open for the, or he's wide open for the center mass strike. Okay, and what he's saying is that it's a lot faster than other martial arts because I'm not blocking and then hitting. It's all just one movement. If you can relax there, this is actually strong enough to hold me up. If you tighten that one, you'll wow. feel a difference. Yeah. And when you relax it, you can hold me there for a long, long time. Yep. And you can try here, push on there. I move my stance, yep. which won't yep. yep. as much as possible can actually. And both hands help each other. They work independently, but not doing different jobs. They're doing the same job, with one hand helping the other one to achieve its goal. So, for argument's sake, if this punch is coming to hit me, this alone might not be enough, because you're a pretty solid person, you've got plenty of power, you might have enough energy to still burst mm -hmm. through. 
but if I've got two hands here, right, right. or if I use this hand as the helping hand, now I've got a chance, because by facing me front on, you have to deal with all of my body strength, rather than uh, some of it. If I'm facing this way, you can beat that hand with a push. Very easy to take my balance. So if I'm facing this way, it's much harder to try pushing now. And it's again, it's the center line, keeping the center line. Same here, if I was just doing that, you could push it out of the way. But if it's here, right. try and push it now. Okay. It's harder. You can, but it's much harder. Yeah. And I can use that to my advantage, because if I have that position, right. it enables me to use that helping hand. And then here, this one, this is the basic technique you just taught me. You can shift it away. Yeah. Just shift it away. And now, and so. You can kill. Okay, so perfect. Perfect. And this one you said is your least favorite because it's too. Because it's too moving. Too moving. Too moving. Too moving. So when you see in a lot of the magazines and the videos, DVDs, a lot of the so-called Wing Chun teachers always shape up and then their first move is this action. We yep. always look at it and go, oh no. Because <laughs> if his hands are up, that yep. should never be his first action. His first action should have been an attempt to hit. Uh, you only use that one when your attempt to hit has been jammed up. Or if your hands were down in the first one. It's like now, I'm standing here with my hands down. If you suddenly threw a punch at me, anything else, like trying to park from the outside yep. or anything, it's not going to make it. Yep. But what can make it is yep. the other one, yep. because it's a shorter distance. Or you said, if I try and strike first and it gets thwarted, okay, and then from here can I go to You can try, but you got to face two hands, that. which is why this one needs to come this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or this way. Okay. So if I've got that angle, you can reface. Cool. So if you reface your body, I now can't fight you. So, so would you actually rotate? Would you throw a rotating punch? Yep. But it's rotation. different. It's not a rotation as it's done in a lot of the other modes. Right, right. It's more subtle. For example, if I was at this angle, yep. and this is a straight hand, it's just look at, enough. Look at this, look at this, look at this slight, slight rotation, turning his hips. So this is a bad position. Yep. There's a threat, there's another threat obviously there. Just a slight angle. Because now I'm going to set this one and I'm going to set it to the hands out of the fight. From here, I can come like this one. So your legs are being left going in one direction, your upper body is going in the other direction. Up and now having a sensory overload. Yeah. And then some of the techniques you said, it's, it's all one move. The yeah. block and the yeah. punch because the force is coming at you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to punch you and you yeah. demonstrate one of those. That's one action. You have one though. Somehow you block in such a fashion. You block and then you're blocked. Yeah. Just so you yeah. Oh, okay. What I'm using is the basic concept of force so when your punch comes, I eat the shift so I can hit at the same time. Rather than chasing that hand first and then going for the second one. Because yep. in that exchange, you have a chance to also throw it at the second one. Right. It's natural for your body to recover from its first position. I need to beat that recovery. So when you throw the first one, one action. So you don't get a chance to use recovery. Right. If it comes out, there's already a third I've already been hit three times. Yeah. That's the goal. Interesting. You can't say we always make it work, but that's what we're trying. How do you find the Malaysians are, are, are they pretty open about having a, yeah. a foreign instructor? Um, largely, it's got to do with the fact of my uh, my history, being that I'm a student of the late Wong Sen Leung, and he's a very very famous practitioner of Yip Man's Wing Chun. So they've got a chance to learn from someone who learned from him. So they're all very excited to learn, and it's kind of an extra novelty to have a quite old teacher. Imagine what you want to do is go from there to here. You use your elbow to that line and I'm robbing you all that line. So as soon as you put the line to this, you change it. Now you've got the line. One, a two, a one, two, three, four.